would like to tell you about the meaning of icebreaker. An icebreaker is a facilitation in exercise intended to help to begin the process of forming themselves into a team. Icebreakers are commonly presented as a game which helps to warm up the people to get to know each other. Basically, they focus on the hobbies, names, etc. There are many types of icebreakers. Some of the most common are introductory icebreakers, getting to know you icebreakers, team building icebreakers, party icebreakers, icebreaker questions. So I would like to explain all these icebreakers. So first of all, introductory icebreakers. Many times when people get together, they do not know one another. Introductory icebreaker games and activities not only help people begin to know each other but also help themselves recognize and appreciate differences and similarities. Introductory icebreakers can be simple as asking each person to tell the group their name and one fact about themselves or they can be complicated exercises designed to build trust and a desire to work together. The another one is getting to know your icebreaker. Icebreakers are frequently presented in a form of a game to a warm up group by helping the member to get to know each other. They often focus on sharing information such as names, personal facts, hobbies, etc. Getting to know you icebreakers also help people who already know each other became more easy. I would like to tell you the advantages of icebreaker. They are fun and bring laughter to the process, get the attention and involve people quickly, break down barriers that exist between people, people soon get to know one another quickly, icebreaker activities help clearly people's mind, great way to ease a group into a meeting, training event or seminar, get people to interact on a different level, then they do in the workplace, open the lines of communication with a relaxed manner. The do's and do not of icebreaker. First of all, do. Number one, match the right game with the right people. Number two, use icebreaker to create a relaxed atmosphere. Number three, be realistic about the right amount of people and resources needed to carry out the activity. Number four, keep the icebreaker instructions simple and to the point. Number five, be ready to improve if necessary. Number six, have a contingency plan in case the icebreaker does not work. Do not focus solely on having fun. People are there to learn something. Number two, embarrass your participants by using inappropriate icebreaker or forcing them to participate. Number third, Forget to bring everything you need for the icebreaker. Number four, limit yourself to using icebreaker at the beginning of a session. Number five, underestimate the time needed to complete the icebreaker.